Well, good evening, everyone. You're very welcome to our Holy Week night prayers this evening on Wednesday, the 31st of March. We are here each evening from 7 p.m. onwards, and we hope that you can continue to join with us throughout Holy Week as we make this spiritual journey together through scripture and prayer. Let's pray. Lord of love, you are the one source of perfect, unfailing love. Love that is sacrificial, impartial and permanent. Work in us a growing love and affection for all people, a love like yours. Merciful, compassionate, ready to forgive, patient, considerate and deeply concerned about others' well-being. Show us, Lord, if there's anything in our hearts that would keep us from praying with your love. Lord, do you see any grievances in our hearts? Any anger? An unforgiving spirit? Resentment towards anyone from our past or in our present. Envy or jealousy. Critical attitudes. Selfishness or pride. Anything else that hinders your love. Show us, Lord. Lord, grant us the grace to repent and to ask you for forgiveness. Lord, we thank you that you forgive all those who come to you with truly repentant hearts. Help us, Lord, take the initiative in restoring any broken or damaged relationships with others in our family at work or in church. May the Holy Spirit flood our hearts with your love. Wash away any unloving attitudes. And we pray that your pure, warm love would motivate us as we pray. That your love would flow throughout us towards everyone we come in contact with day by day. We believe, Lord, that you will help us with this. And we ask all these things in your name, Lord Jesus. Amen. Let's pray the prayer now that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for ever and ever amen 
Our Bible reading this evening is taken from John chapter 13 verses 21 to 32. This is the Gospel of the Lord. After saying this, Jesus was troubled in spirit and declared, Very truly I tell you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another, uncertain of whom he was speaking. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining next to him. Simon Peter therefore motioned to him to ask Jesus of whom he was speaking. So while reclining next to Jesus, he asked him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I give this piece of bread when I have dipped it in the dish. So when he had dipped the piece of bread, he gave it to Judas, son of Simon Iscariot. After he received the piece of bread, Satan entered into him. Jesus said to him, Do quickly what you're going to do. Now no one at the table knew why he had said this to him. Some thought that because Judas had the common purse, Jesus was telling him, buy what we need for the festival, or that he should give something to the poor. And so after receiving the piece of bread, he immediately went out and it was night. When he had gone out, Jesus said, now the Son of Man has been glorified and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself and will glorify him at once. Amen. And may God bless to us this reading from his word. Jesus knew that one of his disciples would become his betrayer. Scripture in Psalm 41 verse 9 had foretold this moment. The relationship though between God's foreordination of events and human responsibility is a mystery. Judas wasn't a puppet. He had free will to choose to follow the way of love or selfishness. He freely chose to betray the Lord who was meant to be his friend and his master. Perhaps you have felt let down by a friend or a family member that you trusted. Bring them before God now and ask God to bring his healing into your heart and to bring a sense of conviction into the heart of the person who has hurt you. People can intend things for evil, to bring harm in malicious ways, but God, because he is God, has in ways that we can't fully understand, managed to bring good from bad. In Judas's case, God managed to somehow work through the situation to bring about his salvation plan. As Joseph told his brothers, their intentions when they'd sold him into slavery were for evil, but God meant it for good. God can work all things together for good for those that love him. What challenging situation are you facing at the minute that you would like to pray for God to bring good from?
Amen. Now that evening falls, gently fades the light. Moon replaces sun and day takes leave of night. Gratitude we raise for the day that's gone and for love that stays till dusk is kissed by dawn. To the maker's care we in faith commend all we love and long for, all we still intend. Glory be to God, glory to the Son, glory to the Spirit, ever three in one. Amen. Now may God, who is the ground of hope, fill you with all joy and peace as you lead the life of faith, until by the power of the Holy Spirit you overflow with hope. Take care, everyone, and see you back here tomorrow for more prayers.